Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a really important video and that is three easy steps on how to speed up your Galaxy S4. Now these are three steps um, that you can use to speed up your S4 and I'm kind of breaking this down for you so you don't have to be a tech to know how to do this, just follow what I'm doing. All right, so the first easy way is uh, your built-in task manager. So your built-in task manager is uh, when you hold the home button down, first of all, you see all of these apps that are open right now. Now you can always swipe them away and close them down as so. However, there is another way of doing this. Um, there is going to the actual uh, full task manager from Samsung. This is a Android uh, task manager and this is a Samsung task manager. The Samsung one being more effective. Now, this will show you all active apps that are running right now. Now, of course, you can end all of them right here, or if you want to be more effective, you can clear out the RAM. Now, if I clear out the RAM, you can see it kills a lot of the apps. However, um, the built-in apps will generally repopulate. Now, a lot of you that have carrier versions of a phone are going to get you know close to 1.7 almost every time. I've noticed that. Uh, the carrier versions really take up a lot of RAM, and I was kind of giving it some time so we can see this repopulate because this will tend to repopulate. Um, but that's going to be one setting, so that is the first step. The second step uh, to speed up your S4 is to get rid of some of these transitions. Um, as in when you go to like say the internet browser and then push home to get rid of uh, transitions. Now I already have it disabled on mine but how you would do this is go to settings and you go to more you scroll up and you go to about device and I did this in a separate video but you need to unlock the developer options so you tap this a bunch of times so it tells you this, no need, your developer mode already, and you view developer options. This will not be available on your S4 originally until you go to about device and hit the developer, or sorry, the build number several times. So once you get this, you can turn this on and we can go over here and we can do this, a window animation, transition animation, and animation duration uh, are all set to one second normally. However, you can turn them entirely off to get a much faster uh, transitions uh, between uh, your windows um, and just all around overall in your phone. Now this is the second way uh, to speed up your phone. Now the third way, um, hopefully my RAM clearing has already repopulated by now, so I can show you this. So if you go to App Manager, and if you see the apps that are currently running, then we can go to Show Cache Process. So if you go to Cache Process, this is all the apps that are using your RAM. So you can clear out a couple of them that you don't need. Uh, first of all, like so for the internet browser I just use right now, so I don't need that to be running in the background if I'm not using it. So I can stop both of the internet browsers and then I'll clear out some cache. Um, and again, be careful that you don't do anything that you're, uh, you could possibly use. So um, for these three per se, I don't use these. So dual clock, I am not using. I don't ever use that one. Favorite context, I don't use either. And, oops, the uh, favorite apps, I don't use either. So these are all ones that I could stop as, that I could stop as well. Um, and so this is it that I'm running. You might have a couple of other ones. So like uh, Samsung Hub, I believe, runs on here. The Samsung App Store usually runs on here. A couple of different apps into oh there you go Samsung Hub uh, so yeah these are so now you're starting to see them repopulate um, as that they're not being as they're being used so the Samsung Hub I would take off uh, Google Plus I don't usually take off because that one um, is where I used to back up all my photos so uh, but generally ideally um, when you are done clearing up the stuff that you don't use. Uh, Google Play services never take off. The Google account never take off. 
Um, maps I have available offline. That's why it's on there. Uh, Google search, of course. Uh, TouchWiz, never take off. That's your operating system. That's basically essentially your operating system. Um, there are contacts I can take off. So these are the kind of things that um, can improve your speed, but just make sure that you don't take, if, if you're not sure if you need it, it's better not to take it. Uh, but these is, is, are the bare minimums that I would not touch in any way, shape or form. So everything else um, that was on here, I did get rid of. So if you see one of yours that is on, um, that is on here, then or, or that isn't on here then that means you probably can remove it um, so this is just a basic way of clearing your ram so that way that these apps won't be running anymore and that's why i have uh, more ram than uh, you most likely do right now especially before watching this video uh, you're probably at 1.5 or 1.6 uh, whereas i'm on 1.27 um, so yeah, those are some of the basics um, if you have any other questions on how to speed up your galaxy s4 Please let me know. This has been R-A-C-K-Y, the Android guy.